I'm trying to share it yet. I'm trying to get to that. Okay, guys. You from here? That's all I right, see, I've never done it for me. It's all right. Oh, we already got half us over here. What's happening? So we have to uh, be exact and exactly on time. It's not just Patreon. Well, you got everybody on here? Mm-hmm. I didn't know you was doing that. Mm-hmm. I, I told you yesterday, actually. You did know. Do we going live with everybody? Yes, because today is Wednesday when our podcast should be going up. No, you said we was going to do it. Uh, I didn't know what was doing with everybody. All right, yeah. That was a miscommunication. I that said we we're going to go, do our podcast live tomorrow since it's supposed to already be Yeah, I figured live, we right? always doing it live. No, you, you were not trying to listen. I made it You clear. weren't trying to be clear. I made it clear. Black ass. Hello, everyone. What's happening? Hello, everyone. Uh, hold on, guys. We got some people's first live on here. I imagine a bunch of y'all's first live on here. <clears throat> you guys, this is usually uh, something we only do with Patreon. Yeah. But it's the top of the year, so we are going to do a live for everyone. All oh, y'all getting this live. Everybody getting this live. You see me. <laughs> Everybody. Everybody in huh, getting a live. But I also have a meeting in 58 minutes. So, so tight hour. Tight 58. Tight 58. <clears throat> so. Uh, yeah, there so. we go. Put that on there. This probably going to taste like ass. Are we still frozen? Why this drop? I know, drastically. Is it frozen, guys? They said it were back. Hold on. I'm going to pull y'all up on my... Uh, yeah, I'm not iPad. frozen on mine. I'm right there. You don't get Give us just one more shit. We told y'all it was going to go from sugar to shit. Did we want? Did we tell him? Did we full want him, baby? Mm -hmm. Did we full want him? No, no. Jesus. Yeah, get all the mutes going. What else needs it? Mute all your mutes. I'm hearing it everywhere. Hey, girl. Oh, you look cute. We we should not podcast right now. Tune in. You so silly. We live with everybody. All right, I'm gonna call you when I'm done. Tune in. Yeah. Okay. Our Happy New Year, y'all. Our great thing has been blessed thus far. It's been so much. It works. These are the ones we have. Ooh, we got a pre-roll. All right, we got to do it right. Do you write it. <laughs> you want me to write it down? Yeah, write it all down. Okay. You know, writing if I write in a hurry or at all, it's gonna be. Be Here we go. Give me the pandate. Hit it. All right, we got better help, which is brand new ritual helix. Best fiends. Women don't say addictive. Mm -hmm. And then stamps as our pre roll. They don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna answer a lot of your questions. I promise. Let me just let me just get us started. I can't wait. We miss you guys. I miss you. Let me pull up stamps. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. Keep it on there. 
You ready? I need you to press record. If you got a small business, you know that there's nothing more valuable than your time. So stop wasting it on trips to the post office. Stamps.com makes it easy to mail and ship right from your computer. Save time and money with Stamps.com. Send letters, packages for less with discounted rates from USPS, US, um, UPS, and more. I've used Stamps.com, especially when dealing with our Patreon, when we have things like game nights and there are prizes. I'm able to use stamps.com to be able to ship them whatever it is that they want. And it makes it so that I'm able to connect with them and also not spend so much money because we're a small business. We got to save all the money we can. Within minutes, you can be up and running and printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send, especially even internationally. So save time and money with Stamps.com. There's no risk. And with my promo code ARGUE, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Now, they're not lying about that. That is the truth. Um, <laughs> just go to Stamps.com. Click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and type ARGUE. ARGUE. That's Stamps.com. Promo code ARGUE. ARGUE. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. Oh, somebody forgot to silence their phone as we start the podcast. Got 19 devices over here. What's up, everybody? Welcome to our podcast. Is this going to cause an argument? All right, now I'm with y'all. I had to order food, my right. bad. You didn't say the name of the podcast with me. Welcome back to another episode <laughs> of Is, is This, this Going to Cause, cause an, an Argument? argument? What's my happening, name fam? Is Angel Lakita Moore Tanksley, also known as That Chick. Angel. And I am and the other host of Is This Gonna is Cause an Argument? Husband, it's Cynthia Anthony Tanksley, Gears. aka Tank, Tell aka that baby. helper, aka Tank of Tanks Riders. Yeah. Bus Talbert's grandson. That's who you is. Hey. Hey. Um, this is a weekly podcast that we do. We kicking it off this year, y'all. This is the very first one of 2022. Hopefully, it's different from all the other siblings that's rolled through. Um and this is a podcast where we talk about any and everything. We all up in the building. Oh, boy. Um, so we have some wonderful sponsors that help make this podcast happen. They are Stamps.com, which you already heard from, as well as BetterHelp, Ritual, Helix, and Best Fiends. We'll tell you more about them later on in the podcast. Also in the building, per usual, is our Patreon. We call them our immediate family, our angel wings, our tanks, riders, them heifers. Mm -hmm. For the low, low of $5, you too can be a part of our immediate family. You get to see all the blunders and all the mistakes. We mm -hmm. actually, as a uh, treat going into 2020, we allowed all of my YouTube subscribers, Marcus on his best behavior and not say anything yeah, that I have I to be to. like, people are no longer allowed yeah, to say that in 2022. Yeah, it's, it's easy, you know, when we got to go back and edit. But it's not, less easy yeah. doing it live with the Patreon, but doing it live live. Marcus, oh, y'all going to see me talking slow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the way I it. feel about this topic and uh, that particular person okay. is not of the best standards of what I like. To think of as human. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, you guys, this podcast you will be seeing in 2022 will, is about to go through a lot of changes. Yeah, it is. Um, it would have been nice if those changes could have happened in between to, at the end of 2021 and 2022, but life. Yeah, we're going to talk about our life. Life did a, <laughs> it did a three piece punch at us. So, you know, we're going to slowly but surely yeah. um, get to that place where the podcast will look different, where we shoot it will look different, the yeah. way it'll sound oh, that's gonna look will different. look different, just mm. like we're having a technical difficulty now. Yeah, so, okay. Hold on. We're going to pause with it because you didn't even put what time we started. I didn't know we were starting. Oh, my gosh. You know I got a meeting. Well, we've been talking for... How long we been you talking? don't. It don't even matter now. It's not gonna help us because I don't know how much we gotta re-record. Hold on, cuz. <laughs> God dang it. Okay, so it's saying. Oh, that means we might disappear. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Did nobody tell y'all tune in to this? <laughs> I guess our first live just ain't gonna look good. Cause it's gonna go from here. Yeah, we're gonna have to get it from YouTube. No, oh, well. But they still getting this feed though. They'll see, still see this feed. It just won't be. As we're crisp. just not. We're just not. Oh no 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 no. We're just not capturing it. Hold on. Hold on. Angel's got a solution. Hopefully there is enough space on this guy. If not, we're SOL. I was going to say we can get mine. Mine should be pretty empty. You guys. You guys. Keep talking. You got it. Oh, okay. Um, anyway, like I said, we uh, we were saying earlier, we're going to talk about okay. all the... Like you said earlier, we're gonna talk we're about gonna talk about all the riffraff and everything that went went on. The reason y'all not seeing what we have planned for this podcast to look like. Yes, because we will no longer be in our house. Right. We. It's a lot of different things that um is, are going to happen. Oh but yeah, quality uh, gonna go well. We got all that stuff in there ready to go. New mics, new mics, all everything. of that jazz, lights. All of the things is going to happen. And hopefully the technical difficulties will disappear as well. So what are we starting off today's podcast with? So we got two segments that we usually started off with. One of the two. One is uh, Tanksley Pride. Where we talk about one of our pride, which is our four sons. Mm -hmm. Call them the Tanksley Pride. And the other is In My Feelings. Uh, something's got you feeling some type of way or good and or. Mm -hmm. Good or bad. Yeah. Both. Um, let's start it off with. Let's do Tanksley Pride. Tanksley Pride. Tanksley Pride. Tanksley. Or did you want to do in my field? No, I'm doing math in my head. That's the only reason why I'm talking. I'm oh, just okay. doing math in my head. You go ahead and you um, kick us off, babe. I didn't want to do Tanks Pride. I actually want I didn't want to do yeah. Tanksley Pride. <laughs> so these boys, y'all seen the post we put up if y'all on Instagram with dealing with them are. But all four of these boys, seeing them. In this whole vacation mode that they in, it's hilarious. Because if we don't wake them up, they will not get out of bed until 12, 31 o'clock. Not at all. <laughs> like every time I walk up in the room, walk in Marcus's room, he pops up like, yeah, boy, I know you were asleep. Get up. All the way up. Walk around. This morning, um, so Amara's on this, uh, he's on this night out uh, thing. He gets that from me. But he won't go to sleep until you basically force him to. He's one night he was up until it wasn't even night, it was morning. He was up until 5 a.m. just running around playing. We hey, he was the only one awake in the house, which is the status quo right now. Um, but this morning I went and I got him up, stood him up. It was like, wake up, boy. Stood him up. He was awake. I had to rush out, I had somewhere to go. And by the time I came back, he's laying back in the bed. Angels are downstairs working out. <laughs> I was like, why is he still asleep? She was like, because I wanted to work out. That don't matter. That ain't going to do nothing for us tonight. And I was like, I'm getting in this workout. That's what it is. But they are like. They they have all turned into like teenagers. But you can't talk. We can't talk. No, we can't talk. We, we have been set trash. a terrible example. We have. We have been going to sleep at 3 a.m. I said yesterday, we're getting. There's a reason bed. for that, but we're going to get into that. I said yesterday. We're getting to bed at 11 o'clock. Marcus and I did not turn off the lights to lay our heads down until after 1.30 in the morning. But we was working. Kind of and kind of not. It was stuff that could have waited. It could have waited till this morning. And then Amar keeps coming into our uh, room like a friendly burglar, uh, standing in front of my face. He Eventually, we just let him sleep Kids in our bed. creepy at night. He's Especially just, when they quiet and walk around the house. That's a good way to get kicked or something thrown at you. Oh no! Because that's it's, it's scary. <laughs> you just see this little fit. You know, the horror movies did that too. You just see this little figure standing in your doorway, ain't saying nothing or responding. Are you possessed? <clears throat> Let me tell you my tasty pride story. So, I um, we were watching The Wiz with the boys, right? And I was explaining the significance. Okay, let me let me take it back. A little bit. Little Marcus is becoming a bit of an actor like his mother. So he does school plays. He's in the performing arts program at his school. 
even though we're trying to remove him from that school at his new school, uh, when we took the tour, he talked to the woman over the theater program to get an understanding of like what type of productions they do. He's he really is getting into it. So I'd ask him. I said, his hey. current school is tr- trash, juice, garbage. So I had to myself, so what do you like about doing or whatever? And um, we were talking about that. And then I said, what play would you love to do? And he said, The Wizard of Oz. I'd like to play the um, Scarecrow. I said, do you mean The Wizard of Oz or The Wiz? He said, I thought they were the same thing. I was like, no. Um, I said, uh, have you seen The Wiz? He was like, I don't think so. He said, I know I've seen The Wizard of Oz. So I said, oh, we're going to watch it over break. So I have it on. And... Um, they're watching it and I'm explaining the significance of this being an all black cast, right? Sai looks at me, he said, well, you know, we're all black here in this house. And I said, yes, Sai. He said, you know, granny, referring to his mama, mama. granny is black too, even though you can't see it. (laughs) So I'm trying not to laugh, right? (laughs) that he's saying that he can't see that his high yellow granny is black. I said, well, I can see that she's black. And he was like, you can? <laughs> <laughs> he's jumping this out. And then- And my mama's high yellow. And, and, she ain't much lighter than him though. <laughs> listen, he's like, she too light. <laughs> then to really throw him off, my girlfriend, Denora, she has children. <laughs> Her children are biracial. Her husband is white. So one of their closest friends, her her name is Rhea. I said, you know what? Rhea is part black too. That boy looked at me like, so so you going to try to tell me Santa's real too. Is that what what we doing? You're going to try telling me Coco, Melon, and Boss Baby's real people? Right. Is that what you're going to say next? What's going to come out of your mouth? He looked at me like, (laughs) woman. Don't. Yeah, you're just being ridiculous. This is dumb. Martin Luther King did not die for you to be saying stupid stuff like that. I laughed so hard. They really, first of all, it's already a leap that they now believe that Marcus's mom is black at all because they, yeah, no, they definitely thought that she was white. They were not trying to hear it. They were like, mm-mm, granny's That's white. Uh, yeah. They're like, grandma, my mother, she's black, but not granny. Uh, so yeah, that's the difference. Her mom's grandma, mine is granny. They like that. That the granny's a white lady. Uh, but that's almost host. as bad. Yeah, the third host, he just walked in. But that's almost as bad as uh, Kai that day when uh, you told him your name was Angel. He was like, Wait, are you an, an angel? angel? <laughs> he was like, Hold on, stop. Wait he a minute, was real like, quick. Y'all didn't tell me this. Mama's a real angel. Like, when the hell did that happen? I really, I could have said yes. At that time, and he would have fully believed me, but then he would have ended up in therapy trying to figure it out. And we've been like, baby, let's go ahead and get you a, a membership to Better Help. And Better Help is a uh, sponsor. This podcast is sponsored by Better Help Online Therapy. Now, we talk uh, about Better Help a lot on this show, and this month we are discussing some of the stigmas around mental health. Um, for example, Some people think that you should wait until things are unbearable to go to therapy, but that's just not true. Therapy is a tool to utilize before things get worse, and it can help you avoid those lows. And we've been taught that mental health shouldn't be a part of normal life, but that's wrong too. We take care of our bodies with the gym, the doctor, and nutrition. We should be focusing on our minds just as much. Let me tell you something about therapy. There are things that we do that we say, oh, that's just, I am who I am. Not realizing that some of the things we do are a response to trauma. Some of the things, some of the things that we have just considered as, this is just a part of my nature, Mm -hmm. are things that we actually haven't worked out. And I'm not saying that living life in a way that you feel comfortable in who you are and how you behave is a problem. But knowing the source of your actions and like how you get your thinking is super important. And that's one reason why we are such big advocates for therapy, not just in crisis, Mm -hmm. not just in the midst of trauma, 
but also just been able to be to live your best life. Yeah. Um, period. And, period. And that's what we're here for in 2022. We try to live our best life. And best life, you can't live your best life if your mental health is not top notch. That's, that's <laughs> period. Okay. So BetterHelp is customized online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp Online Therapy. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp, and is this going to cause an argument? Listeners get 10% off their first month at BetterHelp.com slash argue. Argue. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P dot com slash argue. Argue. All right, guys. So... Those were our Tanksley Pride stories, baby. What's happening? What Hi. is the topic for today? Well, Hi. um, I feel like we got a lot we need to cover. Okay. But uh, the originally it was going to be, um, how does starting off this year look different from previous years? Oh my gosh, we can do that and mix it in with mix everything. Yeah. All right. Well, this year is started off very similar. To last year. Unfortunately. Hold up. So just real quick. Oh, go ahead. Then I, I'll no, say that piece. What? No, 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 no. I'm going to say that piece because it mixes in with how you no. said it started off. This year or 2021 ended the same as 2022, which meant 2020. I mean, 2021 ended the same as 2020, yeah. which meant that 2022 is starting the same. COVID was in the building. All up in the place. Oh, right? boy. So he even, said, <laughs> come on over here, girl. <laughs> um, <laughs> after multiple tests, I kept, I tested negative for COVID multiple times. Same as me last year. And then finally, I tested positive. That's right here. Finally, finally, it happened to I think, me uh, right in front of my <laughs> face, and I just cannot hide it. So, um, yeah, I think we probably had the same amount of tests. I think we both had like three or four tests of negative before testing positive. Yes, yes, it took forever. So, that's what I was about to say. So, with Angel being on tour. Spending all that time away from us. Her family, we finally get an angel back. Oh, she's finally back in the house. Guess what? Lock your ass up in the room. <laughs> <laughs> Still ain't getting to be around. Don't nobody <laughs> come around it. Um, I found out Christmas morning that I had COVID. Um, the only thing that didn't make it as bad as when Marcus had COVID is because the CDC had changed the guidelines yeah. of isolation and the guidelines of um, quarantining. So you yeah. all saw me in um, where I was having the sniffles and and I'm like it must be a cold because I've been tested. Yeah. Um, and it's negative. Not the not the home test. See, we was doing the three hundred dollar PCR. Yes. We, uh, who who go to the best one? Make sure it's negative. Or make sure if it's in there, it's detected. So um, I was having to do Christmas from the kitchen <laughs> while the boys were yeah, having. The difference is she didn't have a door between her. And <laughs> yeah. So uh, and then going back upstairs, but it's it was also. Okay, because I was recovering from my surgery, which I know a lot of you all have questions about. So the the year ended just stinky poop. It was awful. And she, where was that? I was was I downstairs or gone from the? I was downstairs, and she was I don't know. She was upstairs doing something. I think me and mom was watching a ball game or something. And she texted me or called me and said, "My test." Just, no, I said, "Come up here." Oh yeah, come up here. I was like, ah, uh, my test is bound However, I'll take this version of COVID over oh, yeah. his version of COVID. I would take this version of COVID over the version I had previously. I mean, we, I uh, only had those symptoms the first day, but now that I think about it, um, probably my lack of wanting to eat had a lot to do with that as well, due yeah. with uh, COVID. Um, it was, whew. Mm. Y'all, it was just like the yeah, time her, yeah. was 
so Chadwick droopy. was awful. Like, I feel like his new version is whack compared to the, <laughs> like y'all ain't got real COVID. Y'all got 2.0. It, it's watered down. It's got chase them. I was drinking mine straight. Where are you drinking yeah. mine straight? All in the chills, the aches, the headaches, the tinnitus I still have. Is that right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The uh I worked this. But uh, so it, that was um, looking at 2021, like, yeah, you truly are 2020 junior. You truly are. You are trash. 2020 junior? Oh, yeah. I've been calling 2021, 2020 junior all year. Um, so far, nobody else tested positive. Yeah, we all, everybody in the family was negative, including my mama. She was out here. Um, Angel didn't like, just like me last year, but didn't pass it on to anybody. That Not, she came in contact. Yeah, none that I'm aware of. I know exactly who I got it from. Um, and which is a shame because we had made it all made it through the tour. <laughs> and she had just said it. We made it this entire year and nobody caught COVID on this tour. You had just you gotta stop yourself from saying that stuff. I know it. Because <laughs> every time Angel makes a revelation like that, it's like, oh well, hold on, let's 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 make sure let's cancel that out real quick. I said. <laughs> um, but we're we're all good. Uh, also, different starting of twenty twenty. What is this year? Twenty twenty two is yes. I finally got the breast augmentation. It I got new today. Oh, oh, oh. That I've been wanting to get done since I was a wee one. Um, this is something that I have been wanting to do prior to children. Okay, prior children she only. Talked about that when we was dating. Yeah, children only exaster exacerbated it. Is that how you said exacerbated? You asked the wrong one. It sounds right though. Um, only exacerbated, yeah, exacerbated the, yeah. the desire to uh, get it done. Um, I, uh, it's just the, the, the cost has always been a major factor in when I was going to do it. It was one of those things where, yes, I could have saved up for it, but then I also was like, but there are other things that are more important, like buying a house and having a, a safe car or a car that could fit all my children when, once we begin having children and just stuff for my stuff for my kids. So it was never um, something that was feasible, okay, financially for me until, yeah, until last year. So um, I had made it very clear to my husband, my spouse early on that this was something that I was going to do. And Cheryl, I was like, yeah. Yeah, I was like, I, I was always like, eh, no. Mm -mm. Uh, you know. As a guy, no, hold on. When were you like, eh, no? Early on, we were dating. I was like, you want to get what? No. You never you said get, that. Yeah, I did. No, you did. I did. No, you did not. Anyway, I was like, no. And then as we got closer and she explained why, and I was just like, all right. It, it got kind of, it got more of a acceptance. Then I was like, eh, what's the difference? It's behind. This man never said no. Okay. You might have said it in your mind, but to me. Okay. Anyway, so uh, 2022, we keeping our fingers crossed. Because I feel like, for me, it all started in 2018 of just trash. <laughs> um. um uh, too is this definitely looks a lot different just from the way 2021 went 2021 went did i say it right uh -huh. just from the way it went and the, uh, everything that happened uh last year as far as you know me stepping away from my job uh just getting everything off of starting our escort since people always think we say an escort escort service oh. um that this year is already even the things that we have planned is like looks different from no other year that we've uh, walked into. Yeah, it does. I uh, so for for me, twenty twenty two kind of hit me like 
Girl, you are not ready. Um, I felt a little better about starting it yesterday because I did like knock off a lot on my to-do list. Um, as far as in prepping for season two of <clears throat> Crafts and Cocktails. Thank you, Crafts and Cocktails. Uh, reaching out to a producer. Hopefully she'll reach back to me. Getting um, our family vacation plan to Disney World. Planning his 40th birthday party. Like I got, I started to get a lot of things done. But you know how you have in your mind of wanting to have all this stuff in place before you usher in the new year? That was the problem for me. I really thought that I was going to have a lot more of this stuff already completed, already done. Mm -hmm. And instead, <laughs> I feel like I'm playing catch up right now. But I also have to realize I don't have to have this first quarter that's like explosive. Yeah. I can slow it because my last quarter of last year was explosive. Yeah. It was gigantic. So it was it was yeah, hard for me. It's like an avalanche of change. There's like every two, three weeks, something else, which is all good. Mm -hmm. Something else is coming. It's like, oh, wait, what is this? Oh my God, what is that? All right, let's do this. Yeah. It was just, yeah, not not having the things in place that I wanted to have in place really absolutely irritated the hell out of me because I just really, um, a part of me, I think, in me does want to be that type of influencer oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that, like, you can count mm -hmm. on a specific thing at a specific time, like clockwork, that you're going to enjoy, you're going to get what you want out of it, right? I just haven't gotten there yet. And that was one reason why I reached out to the, the producer is because I was like, I'm really not utilizing TikTok the way I know I could. And um, I just am like, why can't I get into the groove of this the way I want to? And it's like, oh, because I'm stretched too thin. I need someone else to help me. I can't, I cannot do all of this on my own. That's just not a thing. So uh, I'm realizing that I, um, I, I, it's okay that I'm not starting off on the same at the same pace that I wanted to, but it's not okay if I think I'm going to be able to do all the things that I want to do this year without help. So the assistant I'm trying to have hired going into the second week in uh, into the new year. Somebody asked Ray asked, is that even in your demographics? All of the demographics are on you on Instagram. Not Instagram. What's the hell TikTok. is it? TikTok. And trust and believe, TikTok <clears throat> and Instagram Reels can be synonymous. So mm -hmm. that that is the that's what I'm saying. Like this is TikTok is actually low hanging fruit for me, but I just have to get to it. But one thing that I know I'm going to get to is a ritual. You feel me? Ritual is a multivitamin that will be life changing because it's amazing. Okay. Gaps in the diet. Everybody's talking about diet in the new year because everybody's about to lie to themselves and try to lose weight, yada, yada, yada. But here's the thing. That's not the thing we should be focused on. We should be focused on these gaps in our diet where we're not getting all of our um, vitamins and daily minerals and all those other nutritional things met. Okay. Um, over 97% of women aged 19 to 50 are not getting enough vitamin D from their diets and 95% are not getting the recommended daily intake of omega threes. Now ritual essentials for women 18 plus multivitamin was formulated by exhaustive research to help fill in the nutritional gaps in the diets of women ages 18 plus. It's formulated with nutrients to help support brain health, bone health, blood health, and provide antioxidant support, okay? The results uh, of a clinical trial that they did is that essential for women 18 plus has shown to increase vitamin D levels by 43%, omega-3 DHA levels by 41% in 12 weeks. I know for me, taking ritual Real ritual multivitamins truly just I overall feel amazing. Um, 
excuse me, I, you know, I love a good delayed release type of uh, multivitamin because I know that my um, that the, my vitamins that I'm taking are actually being absorbed in my lower intestines where they're supposed to be absorbed. Okay. In my intestines, not in my stomach lining. Amen. And amen. Um, but I really do. I do love taking ritual. It's easy. Pop, pop in the mouth, drink some water, start my day. Let's get it. So right now, Ritual is offering our listeners 10% off their first three months. Visit ritual.com slash argue. Argue. And turn healthy <laughs> habits into a ritual. That's 10% off at ritual.com slash argue. Argue. All right. And not only are we talking about ritual, because rituals will help you get through your day, but Helix is what's going to help you get through your night. Y'all know we sleep on a Helix mattress right now. We sleep on one of their um, premium mattresses. And I absolutely love it. That was one of the things I missed while being on tour was not being able to sleep in my beautiful, lovely bed. Um, Helix is a sponsor of today's podcast. What I love about the Helix mattress is that it is a hybrid mattress. It is both um, memory foam and spring, which the uh, memory foam helps contour to your body, but the spring helps support your body. Yeah, a lot of people that have a memory foam, y'all know that thing is almost like sleeping on uh, sand. Yeah, quicksand. Quicksand. And the spring, of course, that's the old, older way, and people are trying to get away from it, but a lot of these spring beds are... Um, uh, the technology is is it more advanced on them, so this mixes in both, so you get a nice hybrid. And when I tell y'all this thing is comfortable, mm, so it gives you support, but also cushion. Ah, I was literally no lie talking to my sister Melissa selling her on a Helix mattress. I said, "Girl, you are is this going to cause an argument, Melissa? I'm sure we got some sort of uh, some sort of discount for you. Okay, we surely do. I'm gonna tell you about it in a second. I was like, you use our discount code." So you can get you a good mattress because her mattress is old. It probably could walk up out of his house on its own. So uh, all you got to do with Helix uh, Sleep is um, to take this quiz. It takes about two minutes to complete. It matches your body type and your sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Um, so why would you buy a mattress made for anybody else? You want one for you. And with Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way that you sleep, all right? Everyone is unique, and Helix knows that. So they have several different mattress models to choose from, from soft, medium, and firm. And mattress is great for cooling you down if you sleep hot, like myself, because my hormones still are all over the place from having so many kids, which caused me to sleep hot. And mattress is great for spinal alignment to, re to prevent morning aches and pains. This guy. That's me. And... um. Uh, sleep. Oh, Helix Plus mattress for plus size sleepers. So if you are uh, have a little more territory to cover, Helix is like, we got you. Don't you worry about it. So that's how we got the perfect mattress for us was taking the quiz and it was super easy. OK, now just go to helixsleep.com slash argue. Argue. Take their two minute sleep quiz and they'll match you with a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. They have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights, risk-free. They'll even pack it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans, so you so a great night's sleep is never far away. Helix is offering up to $200 off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash argue. Argue. Again, that's helixsleep.com slash argue. argue. All right. So listen, all their mattresses are premium. All right. You can get that standard or that luxe, but regardless, it's going to be premium. Give them a try. Thank you, Helix Sleep. Thank you, Helix. Um, so yeah, with me, it's uh, like starting this year off. It's been, like I said, it's been, a, last year was different, much different, looked different from any other thing, any other year that I've lived in lived through mm -hmm. um just as far as not even dealing with like pandemic and you know world changing and all that but dealing with career and the way we were doing things the way we lived uh the uh, way we moved business deals and stuff that we were doing mm -hmm. so starting off this year is still extremely new however um it, i'm i no longer feel like i'm in that uh i don't know what to do stage even though I may not know what to do, I'm more comfortable in that now. Um, and even uh, with knowing, like we talked about it last year, me uh, 
knowing to uh, how to uh, delegate and relinquish control of certain things or mm -hmm. not wanting to not needing to know how to do every single thing or even if I do know how to do it, not doing it um, and starting to, you know, even videos, giving them over to editors or instead of me. Now, if things ain't happening quick enough, I will take a phone, set up a tripod and just record some stuff myself. But uh, reaching out to, you know, we have photographers that we could use and say, hey, just scheduling something so they could come help me shoot something. Um, and even starting to get like brand deals, like a lot of y'all know, I got uh, a sound to the agent manager. Okay. You can call it agent. agent. I sound with the uh, uh, agent. So reaching out to them and letting them know, all right, I'm ready to, you know, start doing things and uh, just the way everything looks going into this year and then being able, being able to navigate it na navigate it? yeah being able, able to navigate it mm -hmm. better than what i feel like i could do last year or even years prior um yeah yeah this is going to be an interesting year for marcus because this will be his first year of being a full-time mm -hmm. full-time mm -hmm. entrepreneur full-time creator yeah. full-time host so just him really figuring out what that looks like also first year where you know the kids, if there's no shutdowns, the kids will be out of the house. Yes. Um, I'm going to celebrate that every morning. Uh, <laughs> so, Happy, just driving, dropping people off. But like really figuring out what your workday should look like and right. feeling like you're actually getting things accomplished. Yeah. Because um, now we both, like last year was different because even when they were going to school, um, now even Amara's in daycare. Even when they were leaving the house, it was uh, a lot of times it was just me. But now, like splitting that up and figuring out, all right, what's the work day look like mm -hmm. from start to finish? Starting off, of course, because I'm not going to be waking up at no 3 and 4 a.m. Starting off would just be getting them out of the house, back to school and then back to the house or back to or needing to do whatever I need to do. But both of us looking at seeing what that looks like, because this is the first time that we'll have four kids out of the house and we'll need to take them somewhere daily, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I am hoping that like we're going to get a taste of what our working together truly looks like. Obviously, we've talked about it several times, but like now this is the year that we're really going to try as long as, listen, COVID don't be caring, okay? okay. Oh, we don't care about they your plans. If, yeah, don't care about your plans. Don't care if you believe in it or not. <laughs> um, COVID, it you know, it's like this is what we're doing. And as a society, regardless of how, um, regardless of how serious you take it or how lax you're taking it, we're all navigating it, regardless of what choices we're making. So, um, our hope is to be able to do what we want to call the family reunion, which is tour this podcast to five cities this year. Mm -hmm. um, here's the thing. I've never put together a tour. He's never been yeah, on no, tour. I ain't not been on tour or put together. No. So this is going <laughs> to be a uh, undertaking that I'm hoping we're able to pull off. Uh, want to do it sometime in the summer. Um, uh, so, eventually like switching gears to that here soon i want to get out of the month of january january is just really busy but come february that's i'm going to be kicking that off to high gear of us getting yeah. that plan figuring that out this, this is something that actually angel brought up that I, and i think it's good to spread this message to everybody <laughs> within two weeks of doing something that you plan on doing stay home Keep yourself safe from COVID. Yes. Don't risk getting COVID. My birthday is coming up end of this month. I'm not going nowhere that I don't absolutely need to go before yes. I get to my birthday. Yes. He's like, I'm not about mm -mm. to ruin it by getting COVID. So uh, that's how we said we're going to do Christmas next year. Yeah. We are like, uh-uh. I am December not, 10th. We are on lockdown. I don't want to hear about no parties. I don't want to hear about nothing. I am going to be shut down and I'm going to pretend like I have COVID those yeah. two weeks. <laughs> or listen, this, we got two options. We could at the top of December go out and look for COVID mm -hmm. and get it. <laughs> Just get it. Just go out licking door handles. <laughs> right. 
and then be like, all Go right. To people. You got COVID? Come here. Come here. Let's get Let, it. Put one on me. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's get this COVID real quick. Um, I, but uh, I, I just, I think our family has had enough of uh, getting COVID during the holiday times and it's switching it, it up. So we're like, you know what? <clears throat> I'm going to make sure this doesn't happen next year. But yeah, being able to do the tour, switching gears over to that. Um, yes, baby. Are you going to say hi to the people? Yes. You want to watch Coco Melon? No. Say yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let's get your Coco Melon. Sit over there. So, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm. Jesus. He is just not trying to cooperate. He does not care. Wow. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to take your tablet He's and ruin what you're doing. Um, they know all. Don't be. He just. <laughs> he does not care. He don't care. He's like, y'all trying to y'all trying to do a podcast? <laughs> oh, yeah. You see all that Coco Melon? It's the whole page, huh? Yeah, buddy. This daycare need to go ahead and open back up. I know. They really do. They like, really I will pay extra to send here. They ain't got to just one person go. Just meet them there. Oh my God. They're all getting tested on Saturday. Mm -hmm. We're going to see. That's going to be the final. Did anybody really get it up in this house or was it just me? Because Marcus's mama, she was over here hugging me day one. Yeah. She was like, it's okay. Yeah, she just tested. Uh, Negative. Well, she works in, yeah, she does. She works in, uh, what you call it? The doctor's office, so they just they do blood tests and they do all the tests, and she's still negative. So, <clears throat> okay, sorry, I'm back now. I can focus and I can focus on our last sponsor of the episode, and that is Best time, yeah. Fiends. Let me tell you, Best Fiends. Woo! I absolutely love this freaking game. I have it downloaded on my phone, and um, when I was traveling. I would play it all the time on the plane, especially when I couldn't fall asleep because it's just that fun. And it's, it's really, it can be truly challenging. Um, I'm obsessed with it. It's so much fun, uh, so much fun to do. Um, but I especially love playing Best Fiends during the holiday season, especially when I was by myself. Um, it's perfect. Pick me up when I need a break from all the holiday action. Um, it's a unique gameplay. Best Fiends has it all. An amazing storyline, collectible fiends, tons of fun puzzles. Listen, it's hard to put down. It's possibly um, the best puzzle game out there because it is like, I'd be really like, no, I'm going to defeat this level. I'm going to get these slugs. And sometimes it takes me a couple of times to get off of a level, but I do. I move past the level. And what's great, you don't need Wi-Fi. You don't have Wi-Fi, no problem. Best Fiends can be played wherever and whenever uh, you want off on offline mode. And that's the big reason why I was played on the, the plane, because I didn't need Wi-Fi. I could just, if I was waking up from a nap because maybe there was a crying child or something, or I was just not sleepy, I'd be on there getting, getting mad, yelling uh, at the screen when I didn't get what I wanted <laughs> on the thing. And not to brag. I knew my fault. I knew that was about to ring. Not to brag, but I think I'm past a level 100 something. I'm like 117. Come on. Ugh. And still, Best Fiends has literally thousands of levels with more added all the time. This is what we want you to do. Download Best Fiends free today on the Apple Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. All right. And we thank you, Best Fiends, for sponsoring the podcast. Okay. That's my food. Food yeah, you, got, you got food too. I would have just something. Um, <clears throat> so uh, getting that tour going, shooting. First of all, I was shocked at how many people wanted to do crafts and cocktails. Why not? I mean, it's not a why you just, not. You just, that, uh, that you they, got your, your vice out there. You can sit around and get drunk. Yeah. Just Are to, you doing just, another episode? You tell me. I ain't the creator, or producer, or host. I know, but you're her hoe. Just for that, no. <laughs> I'm yours. You my slut. Yeah. Uh, now, yeah, I'm doing another. I got to get. I I got to pick my drink though. 
I'm not doing that crap you gave me last time. You that don't get to pick your drink. So you no. need to fix fix something that I'm gonna drink. Because if I don't like it, I'm not gonna drink it. You know me. I don't care what it's on. Unless the Obamas have me. I was about to say, if it was the Obamas, hey, I'd be like, like, sip it up. And that they're more important to you than me. In that aspect, yes. <laughs> crafts and cocktails is crafts and cocktails. The Obamas. Hey. Whatever. Anyway, you need, it need to be something that I like. You know, and it's easy. You just have my drink and a cube of ice. If that, splash of water. That is not a no. That's not a cocktail. It is a cocktail. So Marcus Ginger won't beer. be on um season two. No, be on season two. you not. She <laughs> made you made me this drink. This Marcus, nobody got to pick their drink. Nobody loved their drink. Why do you think you're supposed? Because mine was the most dangerous. It was a pound of butter. There was no butter in yours. There was butter in it. It was sugar. It was sugar. There was sugar and butter. Melissa's was the one with butter. That's disgusting, too. I'm like, Melissa's was a, um, what was it called? A buttery. It's an actual drink. Yeah, but it wasn't made by a bartender. Yeah, I am. Honey, honey. Anyway, you got you got my rules. Yeah, they're telling you it was sugar and honey. Marcus All right, Gold. sugar and honey. Who put sugar and honey together? That was the recipe. Anyway, it was it was awful. You acted like everybody else was like, oh my gosh. This drink. And then off of alcohol that I can't even get drunk off of. I didn't purchase that hours. alcohol. The, the other producer did. That's why I'm just saying this needs to be something right. that I like. That's all right. I'll give you uh, some options out of my cabinet That's that you okay. can take and you can make the cocktail. It's fine. All right. It's, so fine. Kind of thing? it's fine. Sucks for your viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Sucks for them. <laughs> um, now, as far as in my breast augmentation, I'll be doing a series on my Patreon. Um, I shot a, um, a video the day before I went in for surgery explaining the process I went through to find my doctor how many doctors I went to before I landed on the doctor that I um, <clears throat> decided to go with ultimately. Um, I went through the exact type of surgery I decided on. I'm going to be shooting another video here soon on what it was like the first couple of days of recovery. And um, I'll do another video on like, being out of like recovery mode and like how long my road to like being normal. Okay. Like whatever that's like, I'm only sharing that with my Patreon. So um, if you want to be nosy, because some of y'all do, you can pay that $5 and you'll get all that information. Um, I did pin the Patreon link, but like what I will say is like, I can do things like this. I can do things like this. I can do things like that I can do things like that. Um, so what? Yes, go ask. Yeah, you can have cheese. Go tell Marcus to get you cheese. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm actually feeling really, really great. Green, Thank you guys for all your prayers and concerns. Um, I'll also explain the whole why I did not have we almost have a thousand people in here. Yeah, that's crazy. I'll also explain. Oh, yeah, we, do. we do. What's happening? I'll also explain the whole why I only got ibuprofen and why I didn't have an opioid to deal with my pain management. Because Tanya, Tanya said the chat is lit. It is lit up in there, y'all. I living. know it. Um, <laughs> um, so I um, definitely plan on giving y'all those uh, tidbits. I debated. I had really debated in my mind. Like at first, I was like, "I'm gonna share that I got uh, augmentation." I'm, you know, that's who I am. You know, that's what Angel does. Angel is a transparent person. And I was editing it, and I was like, "Or am I going to tell?" I had already told uh, our moderators, the um, people who helped me with my Patreon. I told those five women. I was like, just in case something go wrong. Y'all come up with messaging to tell the Patreon, right? So those were the only people who knew outside of my close friends. So Kevin, Josh, Tahir, Marcus, my best friends, my fans, anybody who, my siblings, my mama, anybody who uh, loved me, I made sure knew 
about what was going on uh, because I knew it was also going to affect anything they might need me to do. So my agents, my managers, they also were fully aware. Um, so I was like, once they got done and once I realized like, it don't look like I got work done. I mean, unless I'm like naked in real life, it doesn't, I was like, I really ain't got to say nothing. Nobody will be able to tell. I mean, they might be like, it once I once I show cleavage, like, but a push up bra could do what was kind of yeah. being created, and so uh, it wasn't until after the fact that Marcus was like, "Yeah, I didn't think you needed to share." With yeah, I was like, I didn't think you needed to share with nobody. Keep I it said, to yourself. I said, Marcus, why didn't you tell me this? Oh, and I got to talk to you about that. I'm so glad I just said that just right now. Um, um, but also that latter end of the year is crazy because like it, I try not to dwell on it, but it was so much tragedy hitting so many people we know. Yeah. And it was just like, so Angel having going through the surgery, dealing with that, discovering she's having COVID, me already having PTSD around the holidays and New Year's just from previous years. And I was, and then like that, like was called reared its ugly head this year it was just like you had we had so many friends and family just going through rough times it was yeah. like yeah dang really yeah right now um but that's also something that made like new year's different but also a little bit the same mm -hmm. it's like a gray cloud over the holidays mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um i <clears throat> but i ultimately did it for what somebody said I always said I was going to share because I wanted to take off the like whole faux pas, the whole like view of black women deciding to get any type of procedure. I mean, BBLs are now very popular. Uh, they're not my fave, but you know, whatever. But I think a lot of times black women are put on this like thing of, okay, so because you're a black woman, you have to be all about whatever type of body the Lord gave me. That's all I ever want. That's all. No, if you want to do something different, you can do something different. Don't let nobody make you feel like you got to adhere to uh, a standard that other people don't. And so for yeah, me, I think, I think it's because people be looking at it that way because people consider black women the standard. It's like they're getting all this to look this way. And it's just like, what whatever their reason is, is their reason. But your reason can be your reason. Um, so at the end of the day, hold on. <clears throat> at the end of the day, I felt like, I felt like, you know what? If I share this, those people, listen, that's how I was able to make a lot of choices around it was because another black woman had shared. And so... Um, uh, another woman had shared, so I was able to use some of her knowledge to figure out what I wanted to do. So, oh, Jesus Christ, my husband got alarms going off, so it was actually really helpful. That, uh, all right, and there needs to be more black black people actually doing surgeries instead of just white men. All right, I have a meeting that I have to jump on right now. So we're going to close this podcast out. Again, this was live for everybody, but typically it is only live for our Patreon. So if you would like to join our Patreon, go to www.patreon.com slash that chick angel, and you will always get our uh, podcast live. For the low, low. For the low, 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 low of $5. $5 okay. Month. And um, uh, again, shout out to our sponsors. Let them know who they are. They are Better Help, Ritual, Helix, Best Fiends, and Stamps. Thank um, y'all. Make sure y'all support our sponsors. When y'all support them, y'all support us. Exactly. So we greatly appreciate them. So uh, follow Marcus at Marcus Ain't on the Gram, Marcus Ain't on the Book, uh, Tank Don't Talk, and follow me at That Chick Angel across all platforms. Period. Okay. Period. Um, all right, guys. Y'all have a good one, fam. Love you. Bye. Patreon, we'll talk later.